Today, let's discuss on voltage follower, which is an op-amp circuit in topic 1. Remember, we have studied on a non-inverting amplifier. What is the voltage gain of a non-inverting amplifier? It is AF equals to 1 plus RF over R1. What happens if RF equals to 0 ohm or RF is replaced by a jumper wire of 0 ohms? The circuit will look like this. And what happens to the closed loop voltage gain AF? Now you can see that it becomes a value of 1. What does it mean? It means that output voltage becomes the same as input voltage. We say that output voltage follows the input voltage. And we call this circuit a voltage follower. Now, can we simplify it further? Look at the circuit again. Equation 1 shows that R1 is not required to get AF equals to 1. So, now we have this simplified circuit which is voltage follower. Output equals to input voltage or closed loop voltage gain AF equals to 1 or voltage follower. A voltage follower is also known as a voltage buffer. The properties as mentioned is closed loop voltage gain equals to 1, output voltage equals input voltage. So, for example, if V in equals to 5 volts, V out, the output voltage is also equals to 5 volts. The second property is output signal is in phase with the input signal. Phase shift equals 0 degrees. What does it mean? For example, if I send in a V in input voltage of 5 volt peak, A signal, I will see an upper voltage of fiber signal, which is also in phase with the input. The third property is it is true for any OM circuit that the input resistance is very high and the output resistance is very low. So, what is the application of a voltage follower? A voltage follower can isolate a high resistance source from a low resistance load and it can reduce loading effect. Now, this application will be illustrated in part 2 of a voltage follower video clip. That's all for now. Thank you.